I'm in conversation with Hyderabad MP Asaduddin Omesi. Thank you so for speaking to us. So let me begin by asking you about the present situation. We are seeing protests break out, the police cracking down on them, detaining them. What exactly is happening? Well, you see, after the obnoxious, hateful statement made by the BJP and its uh, MLA, uh, which was in very well planned and with, it was deliberate. Uh, attempt was made to hurt the sentiments of Muslims to show their hatred for Islam and Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him, and also to ensure that Hyderabad, uh, you know, goes up in flames. Because everyone very well knows that uh, in forthcoming days there will be festival of Ganesh Chaturthi, followed by Milad al Nabi Rabi level uh, month will be coming. So keeping in mind all these things, it was this was deliberately done by the BJP Sammeli to ensure that peace is forever destroyed in Hyderabad. And this was also done keeping in mind the forthcoming uh, Baipol in Monogudu in Nalgunda, in the old Nalgunda district. And that is why you see that people are, are protesting. And I am of the opinion that the TRS government and the police administration must uh, rectify that technical mistake, overcome it and uh, send this MLA to the prison where he rightfully belongs. So are you saying this is part of a planned strategy ahead of Munugod by-election? This is a planned policy decision of the BJP to show that they hate Islam and the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. It is, a, it is a policy decision that has been taken by BJP. This I had said at the time when Uku Sharma had uttered what she had uttered. Not many believe me, but uh, now uh, this person has said it, uh, maybe has said it in a more uh, hateful manner uh, than what uh, Uku Sharma had said. So this is a policy decision of BJP and this is a strategic decision of BJP. So we are seeing uh, protests break out in this way after a very long time in Hyderabad, which is generally considered a peaceful city of late. Do you think the TRS is handling the situation well? Well, protest, uh, we have the right to protest. It is our uh, right to protest and we, the protest should always remain peaceful. So far it has been, uh, pe remain pe it has been peaceful, Alhamdulillah, with some strange events here and there. But, uh, you cannot stop a protest, you know, people will have to protest and people will have to uh, come out and, 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 and uh, take out their grievances so that uh, the government of the day and the perpetrators of uh, such a hateful video know that people uh, are against them. So, you know, so, so far the protest has been peaceful, this is, uh, and we hope it will be peaceful, but uh, our main demand is that uh, this MLA should be arrested and a strong uh, legal case should be built up against him and the actual trial starts. So we saw in a lot of these protests, Sar Tan Se Juda slogans were raised. But what do you have to say about these kind of demands by angry mobs? Angry for a reason probably, but... Well, you see, uh, you have a right to be angry, but we must ensure that uh, we do not incite violence. You have all the right to protest, but uh, you should not uh, use such slogans which will incite violence. Because protest and inciting violence are, are two opposite things. Uh, that is why I have publicly said it that uh, I don't agree with such slogans. We should not use these slogans. Yes, we can raise slogans against uh, a politician of, a, of, a, of the BJP party who has made this hateful video. We should demand that he should be arrested and we should condemn it. But that is what uh, we must understand. And we must not get uh, our emotions, uh, you know, you know, we get swayed by our emotions and such slogans are made. We should, not, we should avoid, we should not use such slogans. So a case was booked, the BJP MLA was arrested and then based on technicalities he was released. What more is your demand? No, that technicality can be easily overcome and uh, it is not that uh, the legally BJP, uh, the government cannot arrest this BJP's MLA. That should be overcome, that is our main demand. Uh, there are other ways of arresting him, you can still use the Prevention Detention Act, the which is known as PD Act. 
and and he should be arrested because uh, you know just because of a technical technicality uh, he cannot be sitting comfortable comfortably in his house after making such a hateful video and a deliberate attempt because you remember that this video was not an interview which you are doing with me this was a video which was released uploaded, uh, uploaded made by the bjp mla from his own account that in itself shows that he has that he had that mental intention and in that video he also said one more thing that i will again make such a video so i was quite surprised that uh, that section 42 issue would, would have arisen because i thought that when a person is showing his intention that i i'll again make this hateful video Uh, but anyway the the court has uh, given its order and we hope that the government will overcome this technicality in retrospect if you see munawar faruqi shows what stoked this entire um, discussion of political um, videos and etc do you think it cost hyderabad too much by allowing that particular show well i i cannot talk about a comedian i am a politician you know and uh, uh, but uh, i feel that uh, even if uh, that show was allowed that does not gives any politician a right to make a hateful video against a particular religion and against uh, prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam uh, who you know see if you ask any muslim if you ask him why are you muslim he will give you Four or five reasons, but the important reason he gave was that because of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Muslim. Now that is how integral, uh, you know, this intrinsic relationship uh, a Muslim has with Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. That does not give him a right to make such a hateful video. You want to you want to criticize uh, that comedian? Very well, that is a democratic right. Do it. But in the garb of uh, uh, criticizing that comedian. you bring out your true colors your your hate for islam and your hate for prophet muhammad peace be upon him so that is not on and and if one was uh, aggrieved by what that comedian had done you could have easily gone to the police and showed that a fire is uh, is issued if a fire was not issued you could have gone to the court you could have even gone to the court and said don't uh, stop this program uh you don't do such things but uh, you you bring out this video your intention was something different your intention was to uh ensure that peace is not maintained in hyderabad from last eight years we have seen communal riots in hyderabad thankfully telangana is progressing despite being a landlocked area it has become a great investment center for pharma companies for uh, google uh, amazon microsoft you name it you know uh, with efforts of everyone and the trs government is promoting hyderabad we don't have load shedding in uh, telangana or hyderabad yes we have many issues we have infrastructure issues but apart from that it is a great progressing state and why would uh, anyone want to disturb uh, such a development but it is the bjp who who is not able to solve all these things and that is why a deliberate attempt has been made two more questions sir one is about the police i and it is several videos from hyderabad where they are barging into houses they are beating people up do you think that the situation is not being handled as it should be handled well you, you, you must remember that from last three days and three nights protests are going on and uh, there are these are always been uh, it has always been very peaceful protest that un- that is an unfortunate incident wherein the police had to barge inside one person's house they were kicking the doors yes. that is not acceptable i have spoken to the higher police officials also and uh, fortunately thankfully uh, those uh, four young boys uh, one of them was even dragged from his home without even having uh, any shirt on his on his body we are released uh, in the, at around about 1:30 in the morning but yes that is unfortunate incident happened uh, we must ensure that uh, you know neither side indulges in high handed behavior all those details have been released more or less uh, more or less uh, the police had uh, talked to them and then more or less many of them have been released 
and uh, we must ensure that this protest remains peaceful. This the city is uh, is very important for all of us. My last question is about that. You spoke about the social fabric of Hyderabad. What is your formula? What needs to be done now to ensure the situation is brought under control? Our demand is that this BJP MLA should be arrested and um, he should be sent to prison because those sections are very, very grievous sections. And he has deliberately made this video and this is not the first time uh, he has uh, indulged in this hateful uh, behavior by uh, issuing a video. There are many videos we take a month ago, he talked, uh, he talked in a very low language. Uh, in a hateful language about uh, Khaja Gharib Nawaz, who people uh, call him as Sultan Hind. Please remember that it is the Prime Minister from his home who sends this chadar to the Urus of Khaja Gharib Nawaz. And here you have a BJP MLA, who is the floor leader of BJP in the Telangana Assembly, who talks in, in a derogatory to be about Khaja Gharib Nawaz. So, it is the responsibility of each and every Hyderabadi and, and people of Telangana to look at what BJP intends to do and who is a danger to peace. BJP and its MLAs have become a danger to the peace of Hyderabad and Telangana. And for that everyone must come together irrespective of our political ideologies. In fact, I would even request BJP voters who live in Hyderabad, who love Hyderabad to please see the, their their uh, vicious uh, designs and, and, and to ensure that we don't allow them to succeed by having any violence in Hyderabad. He's saying that people in Hyderabad should realize what's happening and come together and ensure that the situation is again brought under control. Reporting from Hyderabad, this is Paul Oman for the News Minute.